Hello, and welcome to another Seawater Pro video. Today we will be showing our system owners how to connect your DC and AC powered motors to the control panel and start running your water makers. For additional guidance, please refer to the electrical setup in the manual by visiting www.seawaterpro.com or calling us. The tools you will need for this assembly are a flathead screwdriver, 11 millimeter wrench, wire stripper, crimps, and wire caps are optional but recommended. And we will be using a 12 volt battery for our DC power. Now we'll get started with our DC motor. We begin by connecting the positive main power source wire, our 12 volt battery, to the top of the main breaker. Unscrew the nut with your wrench and secure the terminal wire beneath the screw. Next, we'll bridge the connection between the positive power source to the boost pump breaker by securing it between the washers and nut. Once again, tightened in place with your wrench. We will then attach the positive connection from the motor to the bottom of the main breaker by securing it between the washers and nut, just as we did for the top. Let's power the boost pump with the DC motor and battery. Be sure to use a two gauge wire when connecting to the boost pump. To do this, bind the negative black wire from the boost pump with the terminal wire you'll be using to connect to the 12 volt battery. We connect the positive red wire from the boost pump to the bottom of the boost pump breaker by removing the screw, then securing the wire around it before reattaching it. To power our system, we will connect the cables to the appropriate terminals. First, remove the nut from the screws atop of the battery. Connect the top of the main power breaker to the positive terminal of the 12 volt battery. Secure with your wrench. Then we will connect the negative wire from the motor to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the negative boost pump wire to the negative terminal of the battery as well. Secure with your wrench. To turn on your water maker, start priming the system by switching on the boost pump breaker first, followed by the main pump shortly after. That concludes our DC motor panel setup. Next, we will show you how to connect your AC motor system. First, we must remove the breaker box cover from the back of the panel by removing the four screws with your screwdriver to reveal the breakers. Then, we will start working on the AC motor wires by unscrewing and removing the electrical box cover. Feed the power wires we will be connecting to the breaker through the bottom hole and screw the cable gland in. This will prevent the motor cable from getting damaged and pulled out. Now, we will make the appropriate connections within the electrical motor box. Connect the hot wire, black wire, from the motor to the top of the main breaker by removing the screw and securing it underneath. Then we will connect the black wire from the power source to the bottom of the breaker in the same fashion. Then we will connect the ground, green wires, between the main power source and the motor with a wire cap. Then the hot, white wires between the main power source and the motor with a wire cap. Next, cover the motor wires with the electrical box cover and the breaker box with its cover. Power your system by plugging into your power outlet. To turn on your water maker, start by priming the system by switching on the boost pump breaker first, followed by the main pump shortly after.